Now, we need to multiply a two-digit number by a single-digit number using expanded column multiplication. So first, we have 33 times 2. We can set the question out like this, with our two-digit number on top and our single-digit number below. Now here, we have two answer lines. That's because in this first answer line, we're going to multiply our ones digit by 2. Then, on our second answer line, we're going to multiply our tens digit by 2. And then, we're going to add up our answer lines. So, on this first answer line, multiplying the ones digits, we have 3 times 2, so that's 6. Now, on to our second answer line. We can write a 0 in our ones place value column. And that's because we're multiplying by the 3 that's in our tens this time. So 3 times 2 is 6. And then all we need to do is add up our answer lines to get our answer. So that's 66. Notice on this second answer line, we wrote 60 because 3 tens is 30. And 30 times 2 is 60. So that's why we could just write a 0 on the end. And then, rather than multiplying 30 by 2, we could just multiply 3 by 2. Because that gives us the same answer as multiplying 30 by 2. So now, let's try 76 times 5. Again, we can set the question out with our two-digit number on top. And we'll need two answer lines. On our first answer line, remember, we're multiplying the ones digit. And 6 times 5 is 30. Then on our second answer line, we can write a 0 on the end, so a 0 in our 1's place, and 7 times 5 is 35. So now we just add up our answer lines, and that gives us 380. Finally, we have 85 times 3. 5 times 3 is 15. We write a 0 on the end of our second answer line, in our 1's place, because we're multiplying our 8 tens. 8 times 3 is 24, so then we just add up our answer lines to get 255. Now let's think about why this method works, and let's take a closer look at this first question. We had 33 times 2. Now we can represent 33 with 3 tens and 3 ones. And if we're multiplying by 2, we can show 33 twice. Notice when we do that, we get 6 ones up here, which is why we write 6 in our first answer line. And we get 6 tens. So that's why we write 60 in our second answer line. So altogether, we have 66 represented here. Then we had 76 times 5. So we can represent 76 as 7 tens and 6 ones. We're multiplying by 5, so we can show 76, 2, 3, 4, 5 times. So now, altogether, we have 30 ones, which is why we write 30 as our first answer line. And then below, we have 35 tens, so that's 350, because we could regroup these tens into three hundreds and five tens. So that means that we have 380 altogether. Then for our last question, we had 85 times 3. 85 means we have eight tens and five ones, and to multiply by 3, we can show what we have three times. Then you can see where we get 15 because we have 15 ones altogether here. And then below we have 24 tens which is the same as 240. So putting all of what we have together gives us our answer 255.